This is a PlayStation 4 dock charger. This is by a company called Tech Trendsetter. Um, and as you can see, it's a pretty small and compact. I actually was pretty surprised when I got this at how small and compact this is. It's uh, roughly about four and a half inches long by two inches wide and about a half an inch uh, in thickness. So, uh, the quality itself appears to be okay. Uh, I do wish it kind of had a little bit more weight to it uh, because it has like some pretty thin rubber feet here on the bottom that do okay, but I think uh, with a little bit more weight to the uh, to the dock charger and a little bit thicker uh, feet on the bottom, I think it would do a better job from sliding around than it does. Um, now, this includes a, a micro charging cable that's about 18 inches long and it fits into the side of the dock station there. Uh, and the cable does the job, although I kind of think the cable itself feels a bit thin to me and could be a bit better quality. Uh, for me personally, I'm using a little bit better quality charging cable with this. Uh, and that, and you know, the substitute cable works fine. Uh, but to me, the biggest advantage of using this docking station here uh, is it eliminates uh, multiple cables for your chargers. Uh, you know, if, if you're charging them individually. Uh, now, I'm using this, and I don't have it here, but I'm using this connected to uh, a USB charging hub. Now, uh, you could, of course, it's meant to be connected to the PS4, but the charging hub works fine uh, for this as well. Uh, and I've got a, a power strip here in the back here that's got some USB slots. I'm going to connect this in a minute just to show that. But, uh, you know, it, it does uh, work fine with a charging hub or with, you know, the, the PlayStation 4. Now, one of my small contentions with this is I have my controller here is that the slot is a bit difficult to figure out where the slot is to lock the controller in place. As you can see there, I have to actually pick it up and look, but because it, it really is a kind of a, a pain to get fitted into the slot here. As you can see, I'm struggling with it, but there we go. Um, but I, I really wish there was a bigger guide here uh, that would allow this to slide in a little bit more comfortably into the, into the charging port that's right there. Uh, again, I think it's a bit difficult to to do, or or more than it should be. Um, now, as you can see, that with the controller charging light being face down, my personal opinion is I think let me take this off just a second. Uh, is is it's hard to see the charging light? There's a little slot here that kind of reflects the light. I don't know if that's meant to be intentional or not, but it it does. Uh, but it's not still not the easiest thing. Uh, to see. Let me charge, plug it in here, but I'm going to put this in a slot here. I don't know how well this is going to reflect on camera, uh, but I, I don't think it's going to where you can see, but anyway, there's a little slot there that kind of reflects the light. Um, to me, it's a bit difficult to see that. Uh, I would have preferred, although I think some people may not like LEDs, I would have liked some uh, little LED indicators here at the front someplace just to show that the charging status, uh, you know, whether it's charging or fully charged to make that a little bit easier to see. So, uh, with that being said, though, this does seem to charge controllers with no issues uh, and, it, and it, you know, without taking up a lot of space. I mean, it's it's small, compact. It's a good space saver for, for a dock like this. Uh, you know, you know. Of course, you can charge two controllers here at one time, uh, and they f they do fit fairly securely without coming out. So I don't have any issue with that. Uh, and, and you know, like I said, it works with the PS4 or charging hub. So uh, you know, I like this for the fact that you basically can eliminate cables, which is you know, if you're dealing with electronics, you know, you're always overwhelmed with with different types of cables. And for the price, I think this is a pretty decent quality charger. Now, you know, it does have some cons as well. I mean, I think the charging cable that comes with it is a bit thin and could be a bit longer. 
the rubber feet could be better on the bottom uh, and, and maybe the dock could have a little bit more weight to it to keep it from sliding around. Uh, you know, probably my biggest issue is it's a bit difficult to fit into the into the charging port here, uh, the controller is, uh, and it's a bit difficult to see the actual charging light on the controllers to see whether it's charged or, or, or still charging. But overall, I think this is a pretty decent quality dock uh, station for a PS4 controller, and I give it four stars.